and of course we had to turn over every single stone so we had to go through all the pathology notes we had to go through all of the clinical intensive care events we had to you know go through all the different components of, of the test she had as an outpatient etc etc but as we started to build all of this as i started to build it the picture became clearer and clearer it just makes the point, I think, that at the end of all of the statistics of 40,000 deaths being brought forward every year in this country, there are real human beings dying. And she was just one of those. And I think that is something that us as doctors and nurses and other health professionals appreciate more than anything else. I don't think any of us can afford to be bystanders anymore, particularly, you know, as doctors, when we, we, we understand the science. Um, you know, we, we've, we've looked at the data. Sadly, on the front line, air pollution is not something that you hear clinicians talking about at the moment. And that's the nature of a hidden risk factor. When patients come into hospital, we see them in the clinical environment and they talk to us about why they're coming to hospital. But actually, we don't ask them about um, the, dep the deprivation status of the area from which they were admitted. We don't look into whether they were exposed to air pollution. Interestingly, we ask patients, do you smoke? Have you ever smoked? Um, did you um, smoke a cigar back in the um, 80s? We ask patients those questions, but we don't explore other hidden risk factors uh, and that's where there really is a gap here that needs to be addressed. We need, uh, as I think uh, we've heard throughout the last hour and a half, information to get from the knowledge that's been created which is so substantial now to those that can make a difference when it means cleaning up the air and the person who's in the best seat to do that is the health practitioner because they genuinely are, by the public and by others, the trusted messengers. And therefore, they have the steering wheel in their hands.